Hello, family story timers. It's Janine from the Brown Memorial Library here in the beautiful and warm Baldwin, Maine. So today we're going to continue to talk about bugs. So we have a couple songs, our story time songs, and a great story about bugs and an activity that includes a bug spray. So stay tuned. First, let's do a welcome song. If you're ready for a story, find a seat. If you're ready for a story, find a seat. If you're ready for a story, check your hands and check your feet. If you're ready for a story, find a seat. Welcome everybody. Thank you for coming to story time today. So our first song is one of our story time songs. It's called, Are You Sleeping? So we're going to pretend to be asleep. So put your head down, close your eyes. Is everyone's eyes closed? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John. Wake him up! Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. <laughs> All right. So it's time for our story. And it's one of my favorite stories here at the library. It's called The Bugliest Bug by Carol Shields. It's also one of the Raising Readers books. Okay, oh look, The Bugliest Bug. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? Could you be the bugliest bug of them all? It's a contest for insects. News buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young damsfly Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would like to see who the bugliest bug turns out to be. There she is, right down there at the bottom. Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly, a beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flittery, jittery, hoping for prizes. Oh, what a great stage. There were more bugs than Dilly could have ever have dreamed. From tiny noceums to fat termite queens. Some had great pincers. Some had proud horns. Some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Whoa, look at all those great bugs. Do you have a favorite bug? Dilly crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings that are tied to their backs with gossamer strings. Hmm, she's wondering. There's the judges right there. Clack, click beetles clacked and whirly gigs whirled. Cricket sang hello and swallowtails twirled. A ladybug curtsied, tumble dogs flipped, and judge applauded, then lit their lips. Oh no. What does that mean? They're licking their lips. Hmm. So the judges looked shifty, but Dilly kept squinting. Then, sure enough, she spied their fangs glinting. She yelled, we've been flim flammed, bamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. Oh, arachnids are spiders. That's right. Oh. Oh no. The big judge hissed softly. It's too late for you all now. It's curtain time now. 
and it started to fall. Folks, he continued, we liked all your acts, but we think we will like you much better as snacks. The bugs froze in fear, and this looked like the end. Oh no. Who can save them? But Dilly thought quickly and shouted out, Friends, there's only a way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what each insect does best. So, charge! yelled a squadron of swift soldier beetles and bombardier beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled up through a hole in the net. It's working! It's working! We'll beat these creeps yet! There she goes. Whoa, do those spiders look scared? The army ants marched and the mantises prayed. Keep fighting, cried, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs united, gave off their worst smells. P.U. we give up, the spiders yelled. See, there they are marching. There's the stink bugs. Yay, stink bugs. They scuttled away, the spiders. Hurrah, cried the bugs, giving high sixes and fuzzy warm hugs. The cicada piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. Here they go. And there's the cicada. The contest is over and we have a winner. Without this young damsel, we'd all be dinner. She might be young and she might be small, but Dilly's the buggliest bug of us all. <laughs> the smallest bug. And that's the end. And all the bugs. So even though she was small, and she was the plainest. She was the bravest. Okay, so let's do our second song, which is Trot Trot to Boston. This is another one of our story time songs. And we we have one of our friends here to help us today. Hi, Edie. <laughs> so, if you've got a knee to get up on, Edie's going to help us. She's going to show. <gasps> yep, sit up on your parents' knee or or one of your guardians. And we're gonna trot trot to Boston. Here we go. Trot trot to Boston. <laughs> trot trot to Lynn. Look out, baby. You're gonna fall in. Trot trot to Boston. Trot trot to Dover. Look out, baby. You're gonna fall over. <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> All right, so now let's show, I'm gonna show you our activity. It's called the Alphabet Bug Spray. So I'm gonna pick up the camera and we're gonna go outside. Woohoo! <laughs> I love outside. Except when there's too many bugs. Okay, so the first thing you do for this activity is you draw some bugs. Draw some bugs. And what you do is you put in the bugs a letter. And what you do is you call out a letter or a sound. So I will say boop, boop, boop. And you spray that sucker. Spray, 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 spray. Get down there. Get down there. Oh, it's getting wet. It's blowing away. <laughs> spray, 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 spray. But I like this book. <laughs> <laughs> or how about... Okay, Edie, find N. Spray, 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 spray. I like this book too. <laughs> stop, stop making me do this. <laughs> I know, we like our bug friends. Okay, so if that's too easy, for some of our friends, one thing we could do is draw the bug and put a word inside. So, Edie, I want you to spray and find bug. 
spray, spray, spray. Get the bug spray. Nice work, kiddo. <laughs> all right, that's all for our story time today on bugs. Say bye, everybody. Bye.